my life changed. Now, it took me five years to graduate, but guess what? I did. And this ties back into my point that you can't allow the opinions of others to dictate who you are because as I was heading to graduation, I sat down with a counselor and I said, I want to be a doctor. And he was like, with these grades, that'll never happen. And it doesn't usually happen, but it's God's favor in my life. And I recognize that and I'm going to give him glory for that. But this man said, you want... That's not gonna happen. You need to think about something else. So I allowed that to sink in for a minute. And so I graduated with a degree in biology and I went back, came back home to Baltimore and I got a job in the lab and I'm working in the lab doing microbiology for five years. Five years, right? And I'm putting in time and during this time, I've gotten married, I had a family, and now here we are. I've been in the lab for five years. It's 2004, and I got my, my baby boy. He's in the room with us today. I asked him to join me because I, I want him to be here because I, I think that it's important for him to be exposed to different things, right? He needs to be in the room with men That's right. that have something going on in their lives, Amen. right? So, but, and this, at this particular time, my son is a couple months old, right? And I'm sitting, it's funny because Joey talked about he's getting two hours of sleep. And so at this particular time, I was the one that got up at night to feed him. And what I chose to do during that time, as I was, you know, shaking him, singing, singing it, and rocking him back and forth and feeding him and all that, doing with what I think good dads do. It was a time where I grew exponentially as a man, not only as a father, but as a son. And I'm talking about my relationship with God because during that time, I used that time to pray. Just to have simple conversation, not nothing deep, just to have a conversation. And one night I was up with my son and I heard God plainly say to me, he was like, while other people choose to pursue careers, professions, education, I want you to pursue me and I'll place you on your destiny. Come on, All right, come on. I heard him plain as day say that to me, right? And I'm like, what does that mean? And so I wrote it down. And that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys today. Write down your vision. Write it down because you can always go back to it. So I wrote it down because I didn't know what it meant, but I said, okay, what the you know, I wrote it down and I, I put it away. And so I'm like, all right, I, I'm so frustrated with my life at this time because here I am five years in, I've always wanted to be a doctor, but I'm working in the lab. It's basically a nine to five gig and I have a wife. I have three children at this point in time and I feel like I'm in a dead end situation. And so these moments where I'm up with my son early in the morning, giving him a bottle, God is using those moments to speak to me and to build me up. And so then he said, what do you want? What, what do you want? And I said, okay, what do I want? I had to think about it. And I wrote it down. I want to be a doctor. This is what I've always wanted. Okay, all right. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to quit your job. 